In this video I am going to say another thank you to a company who has supported me for quite a while now. So to coin the famous ABBA song, they took a chance on me. And I want to say thank you to a company who did actually that. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this second of probably maybe three planned videos. Yes, they are planned, believe it or not. And um, where I give thanks to companies who are supporting me or people who are supporting me as well. And um, side point, I was chatting to someone just yesterday and I was busy thinking about my channels in both YouTube and Twitch and actually said that my name was in Wills instead of my real name. What do you mean? You thought that was my real name? No, well, so be it. You can call me in Wills any time you want. Too often I think we blog or tweet about the negative and so I thought I would do a series of blogs or videos to say thank you to people and companies which support both myself and my creation. Now last time I spoke about the fantastic company called Stream Elements and this time I'm going to talk about another company who actually became my first and only sponsor. Yes, I would like to say thank you to the design mechanism. So in order to put this video and thank you into context, we have to go back in time. Now I was watching a new channel last night on Twitch, Stalled Wart, Wart Initiative, well worth it if you go to the blog post of this, the link's there. And I was watching this stream before starting my own and the GM on um, Stoltwalt Initiative was saying how he got into RPG, role playing games. And it seemed to be very similar to myself, apart from I wasn't or ever will be in the army. I, I often do wonder that if I got called up, um, you know, what what service would I go into? It, it does why am I the am I the only person who thinks about this? Anyway, back to the thank you video. Now he actually um, found role playing games in a similar way as I did because I used to play. Um, first edition a Dungeons Advanced Dungeons and Dragons and I did that for some time in my younger and teenage years yes I was the typical nerd yeah anyway it wasn't until I was well into streaming um, Star Wars The Old Republic on Twitch that I suddenly found that there was a whole load of Dungeons and Dragons games being streamed and when a group of people said that they would really like to play, you know, my hand shot up uh, virtually, of course, saying that I would be the dungeon master. And I went out and I bought all the books and got really excited a bit and, you know, organized my first ever game and off we went. Now, one thing I found when I went back to role playing was that the RPG scene was already awash with experienced dungeon masters and players and I was being again a, a newbie dungeon master and it was almost like the blind leading the experience and sessions went well but there was a lot of people who knew a lot more the rules than I did and so they were saying yes I can do that you just roll this dice roll that dice do this and I, I felt very much out of control which sets off my anxiety which is another meta matter altogether anyway so what I decided to do was go off and try to find a game that I wanted to play that was new and almost like move away from D&D 5th edition and to play some other minority game a bit like how I stream anyway that was when I found Mithras now within weeks 
I was um, streaming actual play sessions of the rule set, creating rule videos on um, YouTube about the game. And it was a relatively unknown game. And I always thought it was a minority game. And so viewing figures were low on YouTube and low on um, Twitch. People were drawn to D&D &D because that's when they felt comfortable and enjoyed it. And you know, things weren't going well with the game. However, I persevered and persevered and I tweeted out my content, um, copying in the design mechanism, uh, the producers of Mithras um, Twitter. And then out of the blue, or as a result of a cheeky tweet that I gave, I actually heard back from one of the designers of Mithras, somebody called Lawrence Whitaker. Now, after an exchange of emails, non-disclosure agreements etc etc the decision was made and i remember saying can i actually put sponsored by the design mechanism and they came back yes and i thought woohoo my first sponsor now i love working alongside the design mechanism and that's what i feel i'm doing i'm working alongside them and they I still am a newbie player or GM of the rule set and there's people out there who know the rules a lot better than I do um, and but the company continues to invest time and energy in my creation and um, soon after being sponsored by them I was lucky enough to be able to start up the Mithras Matters podcast a monthly podcast about the Mithras rule set um, with the um, Lawrence um, providing me um, direction and opportunities to interview people that were associated with the game, creators of modules or future productions, including Lawrence himself. And through their promotion, I get that podcast gets about 150 listeners on average per month. There's also a vibrant community who play the game, something that I knew nothing about. And I have found every single one of them so approachable and supportive of my content. I never ever thought that I would be sending emails to a game designer and also having chats with them um, for the podcast. And in the last episode of Mithras Matters, or the second to last one, Lawrence Whitaker actually mentioned um, they are producing a new setting called Leoness, and he, uh, which is based on the Jack Vance novels, if you've read them. And Lawrence actually mentioned that he would want to, he would like to G GM Game Master for our group. So super excited about that. Mithras is a great rule set in my opinion and I really enjoy playing it and creating content for it but what I feel is more important is that the great community which exists through playing the game I've met so many great people and it's possibly solely down to the design mechanism and the leaders and everybody who are associated with them taking a chance on me as a creator and sponsoring me and for that i give you the design mechanism a hearty thank you just so you know this is thank you in british sign language thank you so that is two company um, which i have mentioned and without them i am sure i would not be doing what i am doing now i feel so honored that the design mechanism and stream elements have put their faith in me and my content and having their support always is so reassuring and motivational and those times when you feel you're not doing a good job their support makes me smile and realise that people do appreciate and value what I do. And next time, I am going to make a video to say thank you to some individual streamers who I really need to say a huge thank you to because by following and watching their streams, I have got to where I am now. So yeah, second of the thank you videos. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to finish off this video like I finish off my Mithras videos. I hope that all your opposed roles m mean that you get a well-deserved special. 
And until next time, happy mithrasing. See you all later, people. Bye! My voice went so high then! <laughs> <laughs>